Hey guys, in this video, we will learn how to estimate the quantity of reinforcement in the structural components of a building. So, there are two ways by which you can do it. The one is the accurate method and another is the thumb rule method. The accurate method, it is a very long method and for that, what you will need is that you will need the structural drawing and from the structural drawing you can find how the reinforcement has been laid and from there what you do is that you find the total length of the bars that are to be laid on that particular structural member and from there what you need to do is that you need to convert this total length to kz there is an equation that will give you the relationship between the length and the quantity in kg okay so this method is the accurate one and it takes a lot of time and also it takes a lot of knowledge so you must know how the reinforcement is actually placed okay the reinforcement is never placed randomly so there is a certain pattern and there are certain things that you have to consider so it is a very long process because in order to calculate the reinforcement by using this method first i have to tell you what is the bar bending schedule you know bar bending schedule will give you the information regarding how the reinforcement will be placed how its shape will be what its length will be so after that i have to tell you how to calculate the length from that uh, shape and after that i have to tell you how to calculate the total quantity in kg from that length so it, it will take entirely different course to talk about this particular topic however in this particular video we will limit to the thumb rule so thumb rules they will be helpful you know if you want to get a rough estimate of the quantity of the reinforcement and uh, these are not accurate methods they will not be used in the billing process so in the billing process you will need the exact method and you will need the exact quantity of the reinforcement however if you are doing a rough work and you just want to get the idea of the reinforcement then you can use this thumb rule method the first topic we will cover is the reinforcement in this lab so if you look at the structural drawing of any slab that you can lay your hands on then you will see that if this is my slab panel so these four will be my columns and uh, between the columns you will see the beams like these so there will be beams okay so this will be my one slab panel in the same way you will have slab panels over here you will have slab panels here 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 and and supposedly in other directions as well now the reinforcement uh, in a slab can be placed in two ways so there is one a method where the reinforcement is actually curtailed that is it is cut and another is that it is not cut but it is cranked so crank means that it is bent so if the reinforcement is placed by bending so the reinforcement will look like this if you look at the drawing so you will see the drawing like this okay so it means that this bar has been cranked at this position so what cranking will do is that if i draw a section at uh, here then you will see like this so there will be your beam here and over here also there will be your beam okay this the bar will go like this at the bottom and just when it comes to the edge it will bend to the top and it will go to the top like this so this is known as the cranking the cranking happens in the alternate bar which means that if your first bar is cranked at this position here it will not crank and the next bar will be cranked so the bar which is not cranked at this position will be cranked at the other end so this is uh, the reinforcement in one direction and see in the same way you will have the reinforcement in this direction as well like this same goes here as well so they will be placed like this after that the same thing will be repeated over here like this and like this and again the same thing goes on and in this way this entire slab will be filled with the reinforcement now the thumb rule says that in a slab 
the quantity of the reinforcement is equal to so quantity certificates are not important skill and knowledge is join skills for free and get access to thousands of courses and upgrade your skills check the description this is equal to 80 kg per meter cube of concrete which means that if the volume of this concrete is 1 meter cube and this is the dry volume in that case the total quantity of the reinforcement that will be used over here it is 80 kg so if this is 2 meter cube then it will be 160 kg if this is 2.5 then it will be equal to 80 times 2.5 so whatever the value of the concrete volume that you get over here you just multiply it with 80 to get the quantity of the rebar in kg uh, let's say that if it is 4 4 meter cube of concrete in that case the total quantity q will be equal to 80 times 4 that is equal to 320 kg and as i have mentioned this method is not a, not an accurate method it is just a rough idea Now let's talk about the reinforcement in the beam. The reinforcement in the beam will generally be represented like this. So these will be your columns and this will be your beam. And if the beam continues over here, so it will be represented like this, okay? Let me just erase this portion. and it goes on like this so here the rebar will go into the column like this after that it will just bend and it will go into the beam like this it will go on as you know that uh, this size of the bar the length of this bar is limited to 12 meters so if the length from here up to certain point if it exceeds 12 meter then the two bars will be connected together and that we call as the lapping so that that lapping is the joining of two bars so if this bar terminates over here because its length ends over there then another bar will be connected like this and it will continue so this distance is known as the lapping distance similarly for the bottom bar also it will go like this and it will keep on going and you will have extra bars at the top so those extra bars will be just at the edge portion only like this up to a certain distance and you will have extra bars at the bottom as well so this is the basic overview of the structural drawing of the beam so the thumb rule says that uh, in a beam the quantity of steel is quantity is equal to 110 kg per meter cube of concrete the quantity of the beam is calculated from face to face like this and uh, so this is your length and you get the breadth and the height and you find the volume the dry dry volume and after that uh, well, let's say that if you found the dry volume as 2 meter cube then the quantity is equal to 2 times 110 that is equal to 220 kg so in the beams uh, additional to these bars so they are known as the longitudinal bars you have the lateral stirrups that look like this okay so they help to overcome the shear forces and uh, this is also taken into account in this quantity certificates are not important skill and knowledge is join skillshare for free and get access to thousands of courses and upgrade your skills check the description the structural drawing of the column uh, you will not see the sections however you will see the sections like these like this so it will say that so this is the column at ground floor this is the column at the first floor okay so let's say that uh, the bars will be shown like this so what this is that 
so if this is your column that goes from this floor up to the upper floors okay so if this is your column if you cut at this position then you will see the section like this and other uh, bars will be shown like this and there will be lateral stirrups okay and the stirrup will be also like this all right and similarly in the first floor the section will be shown okay so also these four bars will be marked